guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites for the last month or two, and these are just products that I liked using and wanted to share them with you. Let's go ahead and jump in so this video is like five minutes or under. I know you guys don't want to like watch 30 minute videos. I know I don't. I have a kid. I'm too busy for that. <laughs> so I've really been liking this. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, and I have it in SC3. Um, but basically it's like a little cream duo of concealer. So there's like one that's more peachy. I don't know what the lighting is doing to you. It looks really yellow, but there's, I'm trying to turn it so you guys get the peachy effect. One that's more peachy and one that's more skin tone. And I use the peachy one for under my eyes and then I use the skin tony one around like my acne spots that I want to like lighten. And then I put my foundation on top and then I can use a light one under my eyes again if I need to. And I think this is really convenient for touching up on the go and um, it's kind of a drier consistency. So if you really like creamy, you're not going to like this. This is like, you have to like warm it up with your finger. Like you'll be like swirling your finger in it to get it creamy. Your finger warmth is what really does it. It's kind of dry to the touch initially, but the reason I like that is because it doesn't settle into your creases. It doesn't like, it, it doesn't move. You know what I mean? It's not too oily that it's going to crease and I don't have to set it if I don't want to. Um, all right, so let's talk about a brush that I've been loving. I always try to show you like a brush or two every month. Um, this is the e.l.f. Pointed Powder Brush. I like this so much that I bought a second one. Um, this is a dupe for a lot of like high-end brushes, and I can't even think of one right now, but it's very similar to this one. So this longer one is by It Cosmetics, and it's the Heavenly Lux Radiance Wand number 14. This has been in my favorites for years, but this e.l.f. one isn't the same, Okay, it's, they're both dirty, I used them today. But it's more pinky, this one. Um, but I really like it. Like it's pretty close and it feels really soft and it washes well, it hasn't broken, I've had it for like a year. And um, yeah, I'm just, I think I still have some blush on there. Just freshen that up a little bit. I really like it and I think this one was anywhere from three to six bucks. I wanna say three, but it might've been six um, from e.l.f. and I highly recommend it, especially if you can get their 50% off, which I know they had recently, but they don't have it anymore, I don't think. 50% off, and then sometimes you can get, like, free shipping, or if you see this at, like, your grocery store or Target or whatever where they sell e.l.f., pick it up. It's really good. Highly recommend. I just put in an e.l.f. order, so if I get around to it, I'll try to do a haul for you guys on that. And then one product that I like to use it with, that brush, is this. This is the Makeup Forever um, Jesse J is the name, but it's basically a trio bronzer blush highlight. So I got this about a year ago in the Sephora B base sale, and I'm not sure if this VIB sounded weird. Um, not sure if this exact one is available, but the reason I like it is the convenience factor and the size of the pans. So like this pointed brush, it is pointed a little bit. So you kind of get, you get that little tip, so you can go into a palette like this. You know, we're not going to like have a huge brush that you can't designate, like I just want the bronzer, you know? So I like that brush for this, but I like this because when I'm trying to be quick, like I take this with me onto the couch while we're like hanging out with my daughter, and I'll do bronzer, same brush, blush, highlighter, pinch it, and then those three are done. And then I go back in with this and I use this as my transition crease shade. This is my inner corner and my brow bone. And then I'll pop a little tiny bit of this on the lid. And it's like my eyes are done too. And I can even use this brown powder in my eyebrows. I don't know which shades of their line are in here and if they're like permanent, limited edition, or if you can just buy them. I know they do sell this palette um, and they sell like bigger ones. So you can order customized palettes and build your own. But the textures are really good. They last a good amount of time. The convenience of having it in a pan with a good mirror and all that is just really good. So I like the shades that are in this one, but I know you can make your own. So if you don't like the peachy looking blush or whatever, they're not too shimmery. The highlighter is not gonna be good if you have really fair skin. It's kind of a golden tone, but just something to know. I really like it. Also the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have it in the shade L4.5 Vienna. Emily Noel 83 recommended this in her like Sephora VIB sale recommendations and I had never tried it. It is more of a satin finish. I wouldn't even call it, it says radiant. I don't know if I'd call it like oily, like luminous, but it's a medium to full coverage. I think she might have said full, but to me, I can still see my acne through it because I have pretty um, like intense acne right now, if you can even tell, but I can still see my acne through it, but I love the finish. You don't have to set it for my normal skin. It's not too oily, it's not too dry. It looks like skin. Like, 
I wanted to, you know, look, I'm looking in the mirror over here, I'm trying to like tell you more about it, but I just really want to look like I don't have a full face of makeup on a lot of the time. And that one with a couple of pumps, and if I just kind of sheer it out, it looks like my skin, but it just like gets a little better. <laughs> like if I do a concealer under it to cover my acne first, like the Laura Mercier one, then do that foundation. I just feel like I get the coverage I need and it doesn't look like cake face. Highly recommend that. And it's expensive. I think this one's like 45 bucks. I don't know, something like that. That's why I bought it during the sale. And last but not least, I wanted to talk about this Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. So this one is expensive. I think this is $65, but I justified it because a naked palette I think has 12 shades and they're like 54. And this one has 18 shades and it's 65 and I got it 20% off. But <clears throat> oh, I say 18 shades, but really this top corner, this one is a cream, like a base or a primer. But this has some really gorgeous glitters. Um, and I was skeptical like that they were really gonna look like this in person, but they really do, guys. Like, let me just show you. I just swatched the reddish one. Look at that. See if I can get it to focus on me. So like, it's a chunkier texture, so you definitely wanna use some kind of a base, but like, you see how glittery that is? And what I like about it is, yeah, it's glitter. Like, you're gonna get a mess, but like compared to using a loose glitter, these are like minimal mess. Like I just wiped it off on this cloth and now look at my hand. Like it's not like glittering and stuff. So it didn't like get dust all over my hand, all over my outfit, all over my floor. Like I'm not a neat freak, but I don't want to clean up glitter. <laughs> and I know my daughter would come over here with her hands and go, ooh, glitter, and then just rub it everywhere. So I have to be very neat. And I don't feel like this makes a big mess, but it still has the impact I'm looking for. Use it with a glitter glue if you really want to like secure it, but it's gorgeous. I wish there was like a warm brown, like a dark reddish brown or a dark chocolate brown. But if you like like nudes and purples and mauve shades on your eyes, you're going to really like this. There's nothing really super duper warm in it. The shade Crave up here, <coughs> I have it upside down. So down here is golden. And you have your white for your brow bone. And then you have like your cream base. You do like this in the outer corner and then a bunch of different transition shades and you could do purple. But other than that, like it's pretty cool tone. You're going to get lavender, purple, mauve looks all day, every day with this, but I don't mind that. I think that's really flattering and it brings out the green in my eyes. So that is it for the products I've been loving this last month or two. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. I'm going to be pre-filming for my maternity leave pretty soon here. I'm going into the third trimester. What kind of videos do you like to watch? Even if it's something completely outside of my normal content, I'd love to show you guys something different. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.